Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, if you're new, I am a stay-at-home mom of three little ones. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada, and in today's video, I thought it would be fun to share with you guys what I eat in an entire day. If you didn't know, I am two months postpartum. My son was born in October, and since I'm in the two and a half, almost two and a half month mark, I figured I would start eating a little bit healthier, exercising, working out, and getting back to my pre-pregnancy body. I was in amazing shape before I got pregnant with Ryan, and I really wanna start getting back into the swing of eating healthy and working out. So this video is gonna be in collab with Amy Jackson. She is another stay-at-home mom. She's got two under two, and she's also in her postpartum journey right now. We are also both exclusively breastfeeding. So when you're breastfeeding, you really want to watch what you're eating, but the downfall is it really makes you super hungry. At least it makes me super hungry. When I was when I first had Ryan, I same with my other two, all I wanted to do was eat and snack and I literally ate whatever I wanted because not only are you tired, which makes you hungry and want carbs and sweets, but breastfeeding makes you so hungry. So I've kind of just been eating whatever I wanted up until this point. But now I'm kind of trying to watch what I eat. I'm not on a diet by any means, but I'm just making healthier choices. So disclaimer, I'm not a health expert. I'm not a diet expert, but these are just some of the things that I have found I really enjoy eating throughout the day and I think they're a little bit of healthier choices. If you wanna see my breakfast, lunch, and dinner with also some snacks in between, I will show you all that throughout all of today and just keep watching. So since we were actually kind of having an early morning where we have to rush out, the kids have gymnastics at 10 and it's now 9.30. By the time I was able to get everyone ready, including myself, I didn't really have time to make myself an actual breakfast. So my quick kind of go-to in the morning is I always start off with my coffee no matter what. The kids are being super loud in the background. So I made my cup of coffee and I just grabbed a Nutrien bar. These are one of my favorite snacks when I'm breastfeeding too, just like throughout like maybe the middle of the night or super late at night. And they were also my number one craving when I was pregnant. So this is gonna be my quick breakfast, if you can call it that, until I get back home. And when I get back home from gymnastics, I'll show you guys like my mid-morning, more of a breakfast kind of like mid-morning Okay, snack. so we are back home now and the next thing that I'm gonna be eating is some hard-boiled eggs that I boiled yesterday morning. I boiled about six, I wanna say and I just put salt and pepper on them, put them in the refrigerator, and they're really good for like a quick morning breakfast or like a early morning snack. That's when I like to have them. I just eat the whole egg itself. And then on the side, I have some red bell pepper sliced. Um, I also like to have for breakfast some brown sugar oatmeal with some fruit. So brown sugar oatmeal is my favorite kind because obviously it's sweeter. You could also eat it plain. You can add chia seeds to it if you want. Today I'm gonna be adding chia seeds to like quite a few things that I'm eating because I have a whole bag of them. So right now I'm having my hard boiled eggs and I'm gonna be making some oatmeal too. And I will show you guys what I put in my smoothies. So these are my hard boiled eggs. They don't look perfect obviously when I was peeling them. Some of them got a little messed up but I started eating this one already, and these are just some red bell pepper. I'm eating these just because I had them left in my fridge, so I figured I would just eat what was left, and this is some stuff I'm gonna be using for my other snack and my smoothie. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places, makes me laugh about the irony You can really do anything in your smoothie. I like to do a uh, banana, mixed fruit, sometimes just strawberry, but this one I think I have raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, blueberries, banana, spinach. I have some chocolate protein powder, which may sound weird with spinach and those fruits, but I just love the chocolatey taste that it gives it. 
and some chia seeds and sometimes I add a little bit of oats to it too since I just had my oatmeal though. Since I just had my oatmeal, I'm not going to be adding any oats this time, but I'm gonna be adding the chia seeds and the chocolate protein powder. And I also wanna add that you can add some instant coffee. I might start doing that for the mornings instead of getting my daily Starbucks. I really wanna try and get out of that habit. I might start to use some instant coffee in it and it gives me that little coffee boost along with my fruit and my protein. And it's just a good little breakfast or morning snack. easy snacks you might remember as a kid if you ever had the celery with peanut butter and raisins and your parents might have called it ants on a log or something like that so I just added chia seeds instead of raisins and I'm using peanut butter but but you can also use almond butter that's an, uh, another really good option so this is just something to have in between breakfast and lunch or any time throughout the day really it's a super light healthy snack um, yeah. but like I said, both almond butter or peanut butter make a really good choice. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just using a regular can of tuna. This is light tuna in water. Drain the water out first, obviously. are being absolutely crazy today so it's been a little bit difficult to do some of this stuff but it is what it is when you have three kids I guess the days are gonna be crazy but as long as I'm eating healthy I feel a little bit better about that another thing I wanted to add is I take a prenatal vitamin every day so like I said, I'm breastfeeding, so they recommend you take your, you continue to take your prenatal after you give birth. I actually was on a postnatal vitamin that I thought was amazing, but I ran out of it and I need to go get more. So until then, I'm just kind of taking a generic brand prenatal. It's just something um, you want to make sure you're getting all the vitamins you need while you're breastfeeding. So I usually take this in the morning if I remember, or if I forget, I'll usually take it sometime okay, in the afternoon. Okay, so these are the ingredients for dinner tonight. We are gonna do salmon. So I have my salmon right here. It's not much because the kids won't try salmon for me, but Travis and I are gonna be having this. And my favorite way to make my salmon is I put lots of lemon, sometimes lemon pepper, and I put a little bit of breadcrumbs on top and then some butter and it is absolutely delicious and it's my favorite way ever to have salmon and I figured on the side I would saute some tomatoes and mushrooms I was thinking of roasting the tomatoes with the broccoli but I might do something with these mushrooms since we have them in the fridge and some corn on the cob boil some corn on the cob and then of course like I said I'm gonna roast the broccoli to something different besides just steaming it like I usually do so I'm gonna get started on dinner because it's about 5.30 and Travis will be home at 6, so I'm gonna get started. Mm -hmm. 